Hi first graders, we are going to do an art project based on our story that we read this week, Alfie the Turtle. We are going to be making some turtles today. So you are going to need some construction paper and if you have a paper plate or even a paper bowl, you could use that. If you don't have a paper plate, that's okay. You can just take anything that is round and trace around it to get the circle shape and just use green paper or another color if you want a fun color turtle. So you can use paper plate, paper bowl, or something circle to draw and then cut out a circle for the shell. So we'll have his shell if you need to trace something, go ahead. You're also gonna need some glue, some scissors, your construction paper. I'm doing my turtle green and brown, but you can pick whatever colors you would like for your turtle. So to get started, we need to have a circle. So a plate or you draw on a circle and you cut it out. And then we need to have some legs, a head and a tail. So I'm just gonna draw some shapes. They're just, like these U shapes. I'm going to do them on the edge of my paper because then it's less cutting. So these could be legs maybe. Oh, a little bit smaller, it's okay. So there I have four U's. I'm going to cut those out for legs. His head I might make a little bit longer maybe a little bit bigger for his head. And then his tail, I'm just gonna draw a little triangle. And if you need help, you can ask an adult to help draw some of these shapes. So I'm gonna start cutting. There's one leg. take either your circle piece of paper or your plate or your bowl and we're going to glue it on. I like to turn these over so the lines are down. We want to glue his head right there and his little feet sticking out like this. So when he's done being glued, he will look something like that. So here I go, that's how we're gonna glue them. I'm gonna turn over my plate. This will be the bottom part that we're not gonna see. And I'm gonna put a little bit of glue and we don't need very much, otherwise it'll take forever to dry. A little bit of glue, and I did that on the same side that I see my line. So I'm gonna just hold it and push down. Let it dry for a second. So then when I turn it over, now his head, oh, I did it on the wrong side. <laughs> you can still see my lines, that's okay. So there's the head glued on to the plate. So let's see if I need to put the glue on the opposite side of the lines. So here's a little bit of glue for a foot. So I see his head is right here. So I'm gonna put a little foot. My paper plate is kind of glossy, so the glue's not sticking right away. I'm just gonna hold it right there. And a little bit of glue on this 
next foot. Hold that down for a second. Alright, so on the, this side looks like that. I've glued on a head and two little feet. Like that. So now let's work on his tail. His tail needs to come exactly opposite of his neck. So you want to kind of draw a line in your mind that his tail is going to be on the opposite side. There's a little bit of glue. Find that opposite. This tail just barely sticks out. Turtles have very, very short tails. And then we need his feet for the back. So kind of line it across that other one. Looks like his front feet are by his head and his back feet are by his tail. Oops. One more leg. There's Alfie, got his head and his two little feet next to him and then his tail and his two little feet right there. And now comes the really fun part is decorating his shell. So I'm going to start, I'm going to draw a little face for him. I'm going to just give him little eyes. You can draw him however you want, however you want. Little smiley face. So there's Alfie. So what we're gonna do today is use, I'm gonna use two different colors. I'm gonna do green, cause I already have this piece that I kind of cut up a lot. And I'm gonna get one more color, I'm gonna do brown. That's a realistic looking turtle, but you could do pink and purple, blue, yellow, whatever you wanna do. But we're gonna practice tearing paper. So you're just gonna hold your paper and keep your thumbs together and rip off a little piece like that a little bit smaller than your finger you could make these bigger or smaller and then we're gonna glue them on his shell so I did a green so maybe I'll do a brown one next get some different shapes by tearing one little dot of glue I'm just going to keep doing this until I'm happy. I could do a design or just stick them on there. So you get to use your imagination, whatever you want your turtle to look like. And you can put them as close together or as far as part as you want or as big a piece of paper or as small as piece of paper as you want. It's your art project, so you get to decide what your turtle's gonna look like. And I think you should definitely name your turtle because all pets need a name, right? Oh, he's looking pretty cute. Or she, maybe you should add a little bow to their hair if it's a, or their head if it's a girl. Like I said, it's up to you. You are the boss of your art project. And I can't wait because every turtle is gonna look different. And it will be so cool to see everybody with their pet turtles that they made. I'm just gonna keep ripping. And like I said, I did two colors, but you can make yours a rainbow turtle if you want to, whatever you feel like. Just don't waste your paper. You don't need a whole sheet for each color. That's why I'm reusing this one that we already cut up on. Because we don't want to waste all our construction paper, then we won't have enough for other projects in the future. So don't use too much paper. I'm just using a small little corner. So maybe we use the rest of this paper on a different day 
for something else. So you can turn off the video whenever you're, you feel like you're ready to jump in and make your own turtle. You can watch it again if you need to see how I cut out those letter U shapes to get his arms and legs and head. And then when you're all finished with yours, take a picture of it and put it on Seesaw and we'll get to see everybody's beautiful, different pet turtles that they made. Thank you, so cute. I'm really happy with how this is turning out. Okay, I'm gonna keep gluing, but I'm gonna turn off the camera and I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. So take a picture of it when you're all done and put it in Seesaw. And there's my pet turtle, almost done. All right, good luck. <laughs>